A longtime Jeffersonville staple is growing. Shimp's Confectionery has been serving up candy on Spring Street for more than 125 years. Now it has a new building right next door. It's an expansion many in the community are expecting to increase business to other locations downtown. WLKY's Corey Pippin has the story. Shimp's Confectionery has been providing delicious treats like these since 1891, but for the first time in more than two decades, they're expanding their walls. Chocolate covered this and that, their signature cinnamon red hots. The workers of Shimp's Confectionery don't shy away from getting their hands dirty. Pounds of handmade candy are created every day. I'm sure that everybody comes here because it's such an old family owned and operated business. And I'm not sure what they would do without it here in Jeffersonville. But people who live in Jeffersonville won't have to worry about that anytime soon. Owners Warren and Jill Schimpf bought the vacant building next door. I heard through the grapevine that it was going up for sale and they actually closed on it already. We started renovating. Assistant manager Demo Joey Smither says they plan on knocking out a wall in the main lobby to connect the two buildings. The new room will be used for extra retail and manufacturing space. A new observation window will allow people to see the candy making process. Smither says the completion of the Big Four Bridge has brought more people and a need for more space. Like we used to have a slow season in the summer, and the walking bridge has made that obsolete, like it's gone. We don't have a slow season anymore, which is great. Officials believe the new addition will increase business 10 to 20 percent. Other businesses say the foot traffic to Shimps helps the local economy as a whole, and it's extra sweet for residents. Sisters Billy Sue Parks and Carol Watson say going to Shimps is a family tradition. Oh, I'm thrilled to death. I'm happy that they're going to expand and have more business, I hope. We, we purposely come in here and shop with them. After school, we went to Jeff High, and we would rush down here and get our ice creams and stuff like that. And we loved it. Officials say they're hoping to have the entire project done and completed by June of next year. I'm Corey Pippen, WLKY News. And officials say they hope to have the retail side of the renovated building open by the end of this year.